G'day, coming to you from the farm at Malibu, uh, and I'm speaking with Jack McAndrew. Uh, Jack is a very well-known biodynamic farmer here in Malibu, helping a number of different businesses and farms with their biodynamics and agricultural pursuits. Jack, thank you so much for your time, um, and what a beautiful day we've got today. Yes, uh, thank you for uh, this interview. I appreciate it. I am lovingly devoted to farming lovely and we would love to hear some more about why you're so in love with farming um, you've devoted much of your life to it um, Jack let's start with why biodynamics you could be a farmer doing organic farming why is it why biodynamics uh, what, what was it about biodynamics that um, got you excited to make make that your your, your agricultural tool in the organic world and, and and how did you get started with it? Yes, thank you for that question. I appreciate that. A man named Rudolf Steiner almost a hundred years ago developed this system of agriculture called biodynamic farming. Some 50 years ago, I took it up by three mentors that took me under their tutelage for the last 50 years, which I am heartfeltly dedicated to their memory. Biodynamics agriculture is a form of agriculture that is accepted in agricultural circles as growing the most nutritious, vital food on the earth today. Through composting with biodynamics and compost making, we give the soil an enlivening, an enlivening vehicle to grow the most nutritious vegetables and fruits ever grown in the world. Well how did you get maybe maybe explain how who was your what was the the avenue you got in there what who introduced it to you in the first place and 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 what about that person or that situation got you hooked? There was a medical, a metaphysical library called the Bodhi Tree in Los Angeles, California. Ah, which and they had a metaphysical section. Mm. And I used to frequent it looking for, I'd been studying many religions and looking for the, I call it, a force to follow in my life. I'm in this bookstore and I'm following the titles with my finger and this book falls out of the bookshelf. And that book was The Agriculture by Rudolf Steiner. So hang on, you said it fell out. It just happened. It, it, why I was pointing to these books, this yeah. book literally approached you. Whether I drew it out or it, yeah. it fell out or yeah. Something happened, the book wound up in my hand. It wanted to be read by you. Yes, so I wow. picked up this book and I studied for some five years before I could find out anybody that was doing this agriculture. This was in the 60s. Yep. One day I heard an announcement on a radio station that a lecture was going to be given about biodynamic farming and I attended this lecture. I met a man named Peter Dukic that had been making this compost, indications given by Rudolf Steiner. He had been making this compost for 50 years himself wow. before I met him. So I wound up studying with him and another man named Harris Porter. They were, uh, they were friends. They become my mentors for 50 years, teaching me this agricultural process, which I took up. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and in those 50 years, Jack, what, what, 
changes have you seen from a from a from a farming point of view? You know, whether it be the uptake or the acceptance of biodynamics, um, and also from a consumer, or a customer, you know, an eater. I call, I call you and I. We're we're feeders. We grow the food. We feed people. The other guys in the at the other end of the of the process, I call the eaters. Um, not to be disrespectful to either side. I think it's a simple, really simple way to put it. So, from the eaters and feeders point of view, what trends have you seen? What changes in attitude have you seen in your your time? From what uh, Rudolf Steiner mentioned. If he mentioned it, it could be my mentors mentioned it, or I believe in it, that it is a hundred years ahead of its time, this agriculture. It's slowly becoming into its own, slowly. Fifty years ago, is that going to be a bother? Oh, Should we wait? I don't know. <laughs> Let's push on. Let's push That's on. The story of my life. <laughs> Every time I try to say something, it's a fire engine or an airplane. <laughs> what is that? It's not, it's not a missile from North Korea, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Please continue. Where were we? Over those 50 years, the changes. A hundred years ahead of its time, the biodynamics. Fifty years ago, when we would have a conference or a lecture, there may be a dozen people. The last conference in Louisville, Kentucky, for the Biodynamic Association, there were a hundred farmers there. Wow. From a dozen fifty years ago to eight hundred today. Mm. And that's true with all the conferences that are going on all over the United States. Mm -hmm. Amazing. It's just uh, it's amazing what's developing and happening. As far as the farms are concerned, to add us a, a sad note, mm. in the city of 10 million people in Los Angeles, there is one biodynamic farm. There really is no food available in the city of Los Angeles, California, that's for sale. There is none for sale. It's grown within the city. That is a bit sad, isn't it? Amazing, amazing. You know, it's Los Angeles is a 10 million, 10 million population, people population. Australia's only, the whole continent is 27 million or something. How's that? I'm sorry? Australia only has 27 million people yeah, in the yes, whole country. Yes, 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 it's crazy, yes, isn't it? Yes, bigger than the United States. Yeah, but yeah, hello. And the, the but the wonderful thing is, there's more acres of organic, organically certified land in Australia than anywhere else in the world. Yeah, That's most of <coughs> most of the <coughs> most of the biodynamics. The majority of the biodynamics is. It's practiced and the food grown biodynamically is in the Midwest and the East Coast. Nice, yeah. That's where it all really started. And it's amazing with all the land that's available in California that there is really basically no biodynamics uh, being practiced. But you're doing your best clearly with working here and a few other farms. You're, you're changing that, I suspect. You know, you're, you're inspiring other people. I'm a, I've been inspired. Yes, thank you. You're doing your bit. Hopefully more and more people will come. Yes, I teach the biodynamic compost making and lecture on it. We have a lecture every Tuesday here at the Malibu farm. See what time? Around 10 o'clock in the morning. Is anyone welcome? Everybody is welcome. Did you get that viewers, listeners? Share this, 10 a.m. every Tuesday, the farm at Malibu. Yes. And meet the legend himself. Jack, we're going to wrap it up now just for this little segment. Yes. Um, thank you. People will be seeing you in another few days when I post the next couple of videos. Thanks for the gold, Jack. You're welcome. My pleasure.